All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age with big differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Monster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big kick land. by the taller fighter. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they set him Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Stuff to take down, no problem. Big body. Big power shot there. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that one. And they separate. There's the kick, it's blocked. Nice kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Real speed. Big head kick. Flip nice kick. kicks there by Lou. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, man. That jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? There it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage. Oh, there is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight looks about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, no way! Spinning back fist! He went high on that one. They continue to exchange. Just misses with the jet. Look at how the turn is hit over when he throws that kick. You gotta be kidding me, another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't wanna get kicked that many times in the head. All right, single collar tie now. Big knee land. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Ooh, big shot lands. Push kick there to the body. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Second round underway. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice. They're going at it now. Landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Good punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Clean with the right hook. Just missed with the left there. Striking, gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good though in this round. Oh, big head kick land. Straight punch land. 10 seconds to go in the round. Nice body kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much and 
given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Straight right, he misses. Great punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Nice one-two there. Single collar tie now. Big punch land. Resistance from the bounce fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice punch there by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That was nice. Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. About that shin. Forget him with this hit into that kick. Oh, there as he lands him. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. A nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, that's a nice strike. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Try to establish that jab. He's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Good punch. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Just misses there with the left. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He lands a switch knee. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. It's winding down in round three. Got the single collar tie. And what a round! All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body to run into the open. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. And they separate. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right on the button. Oh, he faints upstairs and lands crushed. To the they land perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That landed perfect in this fight. They can stop very soon. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Spinning back fist. Oh, oh big nice knee speed. there. See a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it. Oh, 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 Big knee to the body! Get right here! Just over two minutes to go. Oh, oh huge block! Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's trying to get the knees going. Very tricky when he throws that ball. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt 
man. Oh, he might be out. Lee's shot is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He got the turn on that kick. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. It is the fifth and final round. Way to hide that leg kick. Big head kick land. Right punches there. Right hand on point. Big punch lands through the middle. What a tricky head kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they set Another straight left. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Gets caught with that punch. What a body kick. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight. Fight. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's going to attack that region. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Well, body language. Oh! That uppercut in! His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run
full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains.